So usually in the morning, I just come here a little bit. I'm trying to connect with the present, with the instant, with the moment. And every morning I get the sunrise front of me with this beautiful view that just gives me so much of positive energy. Imagine I'm living in the heart of Istanbul and every morning there is no one here. But you know, one fact about haters, they're not even doing half of what you do. And when it's about food, that's a private time. That's what I like to eat. Ah. <coughs> I mean, guys, look at that. It's just so cool. Ve kekik var mı? Yani her gün daha da pratik lazım ama iyi, güzel. You're gonna see, cooking take me like maybe five minutes. So we call them Africado. Bang! Good morning. How Good are you morning, doing? Good morning, bro. I'm Welcome. Good, bro. Come in, come in. You arrive in the... Kafam, come here. Come here, boy. <laughs> At the inside. You arrive in the good time. I'm about to do my morning routine. First of all, good morning, guys. You was wondering about... My morning routine, which is pretty intense, and that's how I live my life. I like to wake up early, I'm an early bird, and I like to do all the things as I can in the morning. I'm very active, and it drives me always towards my goal, and that's why I like to keep this routine. It's not about, you know, like, as we mentioned before, motivation, dedication. Like, my morning routine is all about dedication. There is a lot of things you're going to see that I don't like to do, but I'm doing it anyway, because I know that is good for me. So now, it's early, we're going to go to my rooftop, which is um, a moment for me, which I like to practice gratitude, and I do a little meditation. Um, it's very important. Meditation helps me to clear my thoughts, to visualize my goal, I mean, it really does a lot of things. So let's go up, I'll show you. This is it. Look at this view. Beautiful, isn't it? So usually in the morning, I just come here a little bit. I like to sit like that sometime with my coffee. Um, I wouldn't say that I have a special type meditation. Meditation, I don't think it's a posture. I don't think it's a... It's a technique meditation is whatever bring you peace whatever you whatever make you calm and when i'm here i just like to watch the city you know most of people at this time are sleeping but i'm awake uh, ready to start my day ready to conquer this world that's what i will call it so that's what i do very often i come here and you know let my mind flow let my mind visualize what I want to do. I'm trying to connect with the present, with the instant, with the moment. Feel the wind, it's windy, it's fresh, you know, it's like, it's very powerful. And having that view, it's a blessing, even to see have those birds flying around. It gives me something. It's even hard to explain, but it's part of my routine, definitely. I used to share those things and I thought I'd be important to keep this private because I do it every day. And at the end of the day, it's for me. It's not for everyone. But now that we're doing this vlog, people are curious a little more. And yeah, that's definitely part, part of my journey, part of my routine. And I will advise to everyone to take a little time. Not long. You don't have to meditate for an hour. You don't have to, to do that that long. But already if you can have like a two, three, even five minutes, that's enough, but be profound with yourself and really try to visualize where you want to be. Connect with yourself in the present, in the instant. I love coming here every morning. It's part of my routine as well. Good, love it. <laughs> Pardon. Kafam just match everyone. Hello. So guys, here I come usually in the morning. Practice it like shadow boxing. Shadow boxing is basically free boxing. And why I like to do it? Because simply I am outside with nature and every morning I get the sunrise front of me with this beautiful view that just gives me so much of positive energy. So why not using it? Like, I mean, imagine I'm living in the heart of Istanbul and every morning there is no one here. So it means like, obviously there is no much of a people that are doing that. And that's why maybe I shine differently. And maybe that's why people see me differently. I mean, I know 
my standard and I know what brings me joy and happiness and that's one of it, you know, like coming here in the morning, being alone by myself, you know, it's a little time, especially when you live in a crowded city, it's very hard sometimes to find that, that peaceful moment. So my dog is with me, I am here, we have this beautiful sunrise as you can see over there and it's time to put some practice, so let's start. I'm gonna get myself a little comfortable and you will see what it is. <laughs> but I think if you follow me on in my Instagram, you would already see what it is a shadow boxing. So basically, it's just movement practice, which is very important when, when you box. <sighs> This is how I like to start fresh. Already putting this energy out. I don't have breakfast, I'm empty stomach. I just have a cup of coffee with some coconut oil, some honey. That's all for my morning till 1 p.m. And putting already this energy out, make me a better man. Make me someone that, you know, can elevate others. If you want to be a leader, you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of things. And if you want to be an example, Obviously, you're going to have to put more work than everybody else because you're going to be judged for that. But the good part is, and I realized something, we very often, but not that much, like me, talking about haters. But you know, one fact about haters, they're not even doing half of what you do. And that's why they hate you. So don't focus on that. Focus on the people that want to grow with you. The one that wants to understand your mindset, your vision. Be sensitive to those people. Not everyone born with the knowledge, neither myself. So that's why you have to try things. You have to discover things. But for me, a big, big game changer was discipline. Set up myself with a schedule, physically, mentally, bring challenge every day. That definitely make me happy. It give me joy. Because now in a day, people try to find joys in other people. And when they find someone, they squeeze that joy out of them. But that's not joy. That's not how you get happy. Joy must come from, from you. It's from in. And the more you find your inner inside you, I guess the better you'll be as a human being performing in this life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of Yerim Seni, Benim Tujuk, Benim Tujuk, Yerim Seni. I go, I go, I go, I go. Ne, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, kanka ne haber? İyi misin? Kafam burada bro. Ne haber? İyi senden ne haber? Ben de. Neredesin? Gözükmüyorsun. Yo çok çalışıyorum kanka. Öyle mi? Evet evet. Ve ben parkta geliyorum. Zaman akşam. Her şey yolunda. Evet sabah değil. Ben gittim falan zannettim ya. Evet, no no no no no İstanbul kanka. İstanbul evet evet. Biraz zayıflamışsın sanki. Eee, <gülüyor> normal iş. <gülüyor> Sen iyi misin? İyi iyi valla. Süper. Aynen devam. Teşekkürler. Yani. Ya. Eyvallah. Ama şimdi hava çok güzel ha. Hava mükemmel hem de ya. Mükemmel ben evet mükemmel. inanılmaz yani. Anlan adam ama ben seviyorum. Her Aynen. sabah yani kardiyo, shadow box. Öğlen yağmur var ama haberin olsun. Ee, bugün. Bugün şiddetli yağmur varmış. Evet biliyorum. Aplikasyon. Heh aynen. Rüzgar, yağmur, çok her şey geliyor. Şu an iyi dikkat et yani öyle. Evet biliyorum. Ama şimdi güzel. <gülüyor> İnşallah. Ya kanka, kafam ya. <gülüyor> görüşürüz kanka. For example, this is little things of my day that I like. This guy is uh, taking care of the park for very long time. I live here for a long time. Every morning, good energy, good vibe. Talk a little bit. Even if it's a little exchange. 
those people, imagine every day he's here cleaning the park from the dirt and the mess of people, which by the way are very un uneducated. They love to come to that park, right? They love to enjoy their drink, they love to chill around. It's beautiful, it's a piece of nature, it's a gem in the center of Jihangir. But people leave their trash and you can find sometimes like broken glass, even my dog, honestly, cut his paw a couple of times. And those guys cleaning, I mean, he cleaning every day. So I don't know, if you see my episode and you're a person that hang around, there is trash over. It doesn't take much to take your stuff and put it on the trash and respect this beautiful little park and also to have respect toward those people that cleaning for you. I mean, there is no bad job in my perspective and we need to respect everybody from people who work in the kitchen, people who clean, people who are lawyers, doesn't matter your title, your statue or whatever you do. We are human, right? So the first step is to respect each other. And I love to have this exchange in the morning. I know it's not much, but the fact that I talk to this guy almost every single day, just a little smile, just a little exchange, it does something. And that's what we have. We have this energy that we can transfer to each other by those little action. <laughs> and that's lovely. I enjoy it too. As much as I give energy, I like to receive, even if it's harder lately. But yeah, it's a constant exchange. So now after my park, I used to do that every day. At least I'm trying every day. So this is a infrared sauna blanket from my friend that have this company in Germany that's called Radiance Health. And this is his blanket sauna, which you can use at home. So you're gonna ask me, what is the red light? The red light is one of those technology that help you to boost your immune system, recover, boost collagen. Um, also, it helped me to remove all the toxin in my body from the sweat and I love it. It's exactly like a sauna, but basically at home. So I'm putting myself inside. I'm gonna plug that and it's incredible. It's about uh, 40 minutes, one session. Uh, usually I'm using also meditation at the same time I'm listening some music and uh, this is a very important thing for me uh, it really had give me that recovery especially the recovery part um, it's an amazing product and I invite you to check my friend out because this this so far this before this was sell it as a sauna so you used to have the red light in the sauna but the blanket that it does have the red light infrared inside. So at the same time you get the sauna and to be honest, is way more intense than the sauna because you don't move, you close inside, you sweat a lot. I believe for all professional athletes, boxers, that would be a great tool, but also for the people in your daily life, you don't wanna go sauna, you don't have time, you just plug this at home and here we go, you're doing yourself. So it doesn't take much of a preparation. I just put myself inside, put a towel, and that's pretty much it. It's very nice. Up, I do like that, set up a couple of pillows here and put a towel because you're gonna sweat a lot. Uh, I put the temperature usually 60 degree. So this get heat at 60 degree. I know it sounds a lot, but yeah. Look at that up. We're gonna go for temperature. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to not 70, <laughs> it's too much. 60 degree, and about time I'm going for 40 minutes. That's what I do at least four times a week. So now let's get ready. Sorry, guy. Uh, up. Maybe we should have some privacy a little bit. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go for 40 minutes to my sauna session. I see you in a bit. <laughs> All right, enough. Oh, it's very hard guys, it's very challenging. Oh, it's like fully sweat. Oh, but it's nice. And now I'm gonna take a quick shower and we're gonna roll to the gym. 
that's the plan. Every time I'm going gym, there is a mindset preparation behind that. I'm not just going gym like that. I'm putting podcast or I'm listening music and I'm conditioning myself. When I go there, I'm not going there just to, you know, train. No, I'm going there as a competitor, like I have to give my best. And for that, there is a little trick by focusing, clearing your thoughts, listening some motivation, music or podcast, it can be. So when I arrive there, my eyes, my attitude change. I become quiet. And this is the whole preparation behind that. That's why on my way, I am another person. I'm bringing this energy, as I used to say, even like the picking up some, even maybe even dramatic things of my life, because I need to get that energy. When I go there, as I say, I'm not going there to have fun. I'm going there to perform and to definitely give the best of me. So it's a different mindset. That's why when I go there, people don't realize it's not just having fun. It's another thing. It's deeper than that. I want to break my soul. I want to destroy myself. Because there, every time I do that, I am growing as a person, as an individual. And when everything is gone, when everything is finished, I feel good. <laughs> All right, we arrive. It's early morning. It's even not the mall close, but we're rolling. We're arriving at my gym. It's an underground, it's in Istiklal. It's Macfit de Minoren, that's how it's called. I'm ready, I'm focused. So we're gonna have a quick session. Let's see what's gonna happen inside. Let's roll and let's train hard. A little warm up always for my shoulder. I start with a routine every time like that. I'm gonna train chest today. I do split training usually, so every day it's a new muscle group. I usually train a lot with superset, you know. I try to make my training quick, fast, dynamic. I feel better that way, because I don't want to be actually a um, bodybuilder type. I want to be an athlete, so explosivity, power, conditioning, endurance. That's all my goals. That's what I do usually during my training. Look, we are Saturday morning, nine. There is literally no one in the gym. And what that means, for me, this have a conclusion. It means we are not so many thriving, truly thriving and putting the effort every single day. It's not just about today. I'm here and that routine I'm doing every single day for I don't know, even know how many years. If you follow me for a while, you know that's what I do every single day. And that's the hard job, is to be consistent, have that uh, discipline. That's why people say about motivation. Trust me, when I wake up, I'm most of the time sore, tired, pain muscle, my low back hurts. But that's what you do. I mean, if you really want to be successful or if you really want to thrive and find out what are you made of, you're gonna have to put the work, you're gonna have to suffer, you're gonna have to cry. But by doing this, you will also appreciate the other things. When everything become more peaceful, when everything become more, you know, in a certain way, I would say calm, you can appreciate even more because you have been putting so much effort and so much work. So that is the reward, earn it. All right, I'm gonna start my set warming up and then we're gonna start to hit some proper heavy weight. Up, up, push. Feels good, it's morning. When I'm at gym, you have to understand, it's almost like feeling home. I don't have a second thought. And that, that's what I, is about doing some, some habit, things that your mind can disconnect. There was a study actually about that. You know, the fact that you stimulate something physical give you a certain aspect of, how to say that? Free, freedom of the mind. It means you're not thinking, you don't have a second thought. So that's what I'm trying to do when I'm working out. I don't leave space in my mind to think 
about my problem, to think about life. I'm just connected in the moment. I'm focusing on my performance. I'm focusing on how can I beat myself? How can I be better than yesterday? Because my obsession, it's all about getting better every day, physically, mentally. So Jimmy, every time I come here, is like a temple. I know that I have to perform. I know that I have to provide and for myself. This is for nobody else. You're doing this for you. And as life goes, the more you do for you, the more you're gonna allow other people to see you as you are. Not as a pretend or trying to be someone. No, gym allow you to unlock your, po your potential. It allow you to be exactly who you need to be. In any physical discipline, not only gym. It can be music, it can be other things actually. But those unlock things in you. All right, let's mash heavy now. We're gonna rise up a little bit. Uh, we're going for 40 kilo dumbbells. <laughs> that's my breakfast. We still didn't have food, but that's what I like to eat. Ah. <laughs> up, up, uff, uff, uff. That feels good. Ah. Super set. Ah. Oh. Nice, nice. We're getting there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Push the limit. Super set, three exercise. Why not? You set up. Don't count. I keep telling people, how many reps do you do? 12, 15. I don't count. I go till I can. I put everything I've got every single day. And that's how you get better. Don't follow those numbers. They mean nothing. Maybe what worked for me doesn't work even for you. So have that mindset. Feel it, feel it. Hit the muscle, dig inside you. Just bring everything out till you can't. That's the way I train. Last exercise, a good chest finisher. Again, today is not about just fitness. It's just to show you a routine, a morning routine. Uh, for the people and for everyone say, yeah, it's easy. <laughs> it's not easy. It's an everyday work. There is up and down that goes with life. Either you choose to run away from it, either you face it and you conquer, you dominate your life. You don't let those events bringing you down. So for that, you need to keep pushing forward. That's, that's the only way uh, that worked for me. Uh, never give up. And I've got these kids recently Great physique, beautiful bodybuilder. He looked great, fantastic, better than me even. But still have a lot of self-doubt. Still feel some time lost and still asking himself, do I'm walking the right path? And many of you might have that question. What is the right path? There is no right path, obviously. There is just the path that we call the journey of life. And the path is bring experience to your life. Whatever you can bring in your life that you call an experience, which can be a good one, a bad one, doesn't matter, you're learning. And that's the point. You need to keep on learning. You need to keep on walking, no matter what. All right, guys, I'm hungry as hell. It's time to have some food. Let's roll out and get some good food. So it's so nice now we have like those new ring on black fonts like definitely much better for the website.
Hundred percent. I really love the new aesthetic and this new direction. It's really just taking the website to a whole nother level. Definitely, I love it, and I like the fact like also when you're on the main page from the laptop, when you move the mouse on the picture, that the stones appear with the jewelry. Yeah, it gives so much more character. I think we need to edit every product like this. We have to reshoot everything slowly and edit everything in black. Absolutely, it's like such a professional and like straight up like mystical effect. Definitely. I mean, guys, look at that. It's just so cool. Now we have all the jewelry appearing in those color. Tap on the link. Bam, everything in black. And if anybody from Squarespace is watching this, come on, fix your code. We need videos in products. <laughs> yeah, we're struggling with Squareface to add videos. It will be much better, actually, because you can have the piece like rotate and it gives such a different character. Yeah, but at least we can keep all that great content on yeah. the Instagram, which is just continuing to look more and more insane by definitely. the day. Definitely, definitely. So later on, what's the, the thing? We're going to the atelier. Yeah, get this bracelet fixed, then I'm packing my bags and I'm on my way to Canada for some deliveries. Yeah, my boy is going to Canada. I'm gonna be on my own. <laughs> oh, come on, it's just for three days, bro. You'll survive. You got Dexter to take care of you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm gonna take care of Dexter. My, my second cat now. Yeah. <laughs> I have the big one in my place and now the second one at your place. Perfect. Awesome. It's good. I'm happy also the new coming up with the bracelet that came out yesterday with the rubies. Yeah. This is beautiful. Also, I'm very happy that we have one of those ruby bracelets, the smaller one that we have been sold as well. Yeah. We, we need, we're going to need to find the stones yeah, for the bracelet. Yeah, bracelets are going off. I mean, they're a reliable product and really coming into trend. I think we're setting the trend. Like, I don't yeah. see anybody really doing these big chunky no. tennis bracelets. And, Typically when people think tennis bracelets, they think of a bracelet for a woman, but like we're redefining no. that and making these big, chunky, super elegant. I mean, when I see the video totally yesterday unisex. on you, yeah, poof. Totally. Bro, when you wear it, you rock it. Like the double of them, pff. Man, and like that's two carats of diamonds <laughs> in there with like 40 carats of gemstone. So it definitely yeah. makes a statement. I think it's a really good idea we went with the five-pointer diamonds. I think on so. This one. Like just that much more of a statement that much more light I mean it's, it's big already if you would put a smaller side the diamond will be barely visible yeah you don't see it it's so like either you want to wear it and you assume it the way it is but making that small for that size bracelet I think it doesn't really make sense no we definitely hit it out of the park with this one and I want to come back with a Rambo one uh, yeah, Rambo that will be sick soon. also I'm very excited for the new design that coming coming up with the composition rings. Ah, yes. Split in three pieces. This is such a great idea that you did. I think this whole next collection we're gonna be rolling out in a couple weeks that has like the stackable rings and really just a great diverse selection of rings for like under $350 is gonna give us a nice offering. Yeah. Where we can have something for everybody at every different price range on yeah. the website. So I'm really excited for that. Yeah, because we, as I say, we, we need also that to have like those different range of prices. Like uh, we have some, of course, very exclusive and, and a bit more pricey, but well, when I look what is in the market right now, we're still way underpriced than other brands. Like we're providing such a high quality for, for a very good price. I yeah, mean, I mean, of course, no other brand or really jeweler can compete with us. And like no. we sell our jewelry cheap right now because we're building a brand and we want people to get good value in our purchases. But it's because we're at the center of the world. We're at the oldest golden jewelry district in the world. We have unbeatable cost on goods, production, labor. So, I mean, really when you're buying from us, our price is lower, not because the quality is lower. It's just yeah. because we're at the center of the world. We're at the center of civilization and we're able to share that savings with our customers and give them an investment grade product every time. That's true. That's true. And I'm happy the fact that also lately we came up with this idea of giveaway. I think this is very, very nice for the brand as well, because as we represent jewelry, but we also want to represent these things with people to connect together and to have those timeless pieces and to involve our community with the brand, sharing this message of love, yeah. supporting the Women's yeah. Day, supporting the earthquake, and I want to be involved still with more projects like that. I think it's very important. Totally. I agree, and I really like, you know, bringing the community together through these, whether it's to support some particular efforts or fund, or just for fun, to give yeah, back to our just community. Yeah, just for fun, it's like just super for fun. Cool. We appreciate everyone who engaged on those 
last giveaways and yeah we're more gonna and we saw it even from the instagram did you see like the response the people like like literally is growing like so fast totally and this is very important because we're growing a, a, a true community that reflects on you on me for our creativity our time our, our work it's awesome like literally we're doing so good bro my man so this is part of our routine every morning we catch up we're sharing our ideas we're sharing like what's coming up what we have to do it's definitely part of everyday morning routine coffee yeah we don't start until we have coffee <laughs> yeah but once true. we have the coffee we go in zero to 60 and <laughs> one cortado flat one cortado flat <laughs> <laughs> exactly nice so i'm gonna have to go gonna catch up with uh, food and show people a bit how it's going after those meetings. Sounds good, bro. Have a safe trip, brother. Thank you. Enjoy Canada. I see you in a couple of days. Perfect. Kral. Hamburger was. Kirma. Kirma, evet. Kirma var, bon var, tamam. Bon filet. Tamam ben kirma alo. Güzel mi? Ama big, opa, big paket ne? Ne kadar? 2 kilo. 280. Tamam. Hop, burada keçi keçi perin perin var mı? Var. Sert var, bir de yumuşak. Aa, yumuşak. Şu yumuşak perin. Ha, süper. Tamam. Evet, yumuşak daha da güzel. Evet, güzel oluyor. Kuru sevmiyorum. <gülüyor> ha? Fransız. Evet. Ve kekik var mı? He burada. Evet. Hoppa, biliyorum. Burada. Ve ne istiyorsun? Burada, burada. Tamam, bu kadar. Kredi kart lütfen. Harika. Güzel <gülüyor> Teşekkürler. Yani her gün daha da pratik lazım ama iyi, evet. güzel. Her şey biliyor. Güzel. Ve sen et güzel, sebze güzel, peynir güzel, hem organik yani. Evet, ilaçsız, evet. lezzetli. <gülüyor> Çok teşekkür ederim. Ben de İyi teşekkür ederim. İyi günler. All right, we got organic meat, goat cheese, and we're gonna make a nice breakfast. So you guys know what I'm gonna eat today. I don't eat much, you know, like I eat twice a day but I'm always looking for the best quality of food that's why I'm supporting local store like this which is gonna be uh, from farm the product came from farm it's more sustainable you pay a little bit more but at the end that's how you you participate for the environment I believe because massive production chain I mean I don't trust them <laughs> I would rather trust those little store, pay a little more, but really gets, even in terms of taste, you get better. All right, we are at my home right now. I'm gonna make a breakfast for us, which is my most important meal of the day, basically, because I'm doing this fasting. So I'm, I'm gonna have kimala, some grounded beef that we just pick up from the organic place. So this came from the farm, some nice soft goat cheese, also from the farm. We have eggs, we have olives, some organic butter, and I'm gonna make a fresh orange juice. I don't buy ready things. I'm cooking everything myself because I am in control and I like things that are natural, organic. I eat twice a day, so it's more convenient for me. So yeah, we're gonna make some meat, some eggs. I'm very generous with butter for the simple fact that my diet consists of fat. I don't eat processed food, I don't eat carbohydrates, so my energy comes from fat. That's why I eat a lot of fat. Wait, let me get a wood spatula up. That's how I do, melt some butter over here. Gonna put some good meat, simple. And this, yeah, again, we are, this is definitely my daily routine. And I'm enjoying every step of it, even like cooking. It's something that I enjoy. People say I don't have time. Then when you say that, it means you don't have time to take care of yourself. You don't have time to invest on the best things that 
life is which is being healthy. So if you don't have time for that, I think you should restructure your daily routine. This should be definitely a priority in your life. Like taking care of yourself, eating good, having meditation, having time to spend with people that you care, your friends, having meeting with your business partner, all those things are crucial for a fulfilled and joyful life. All right, pretty simple. And it's very simple to cook, come on. You don't have time, how oh, that's possible? Cracking five eggs, putting some meat on the pan. It's super easy, there is nothing difficult by doing that. So it's just an excuse that you give to yourself, honestly. Because it's super easy. Like you're gonna see, cooking take me like maybe five minutes, something like that, which is not much. So if you can give yourself five minutes to have some good food, I mean, <laughs> yeah, let's open the fire here for the eggs. My kitchen is a bit old school, gas. But gas is the best, I prefer gas. I'm more in control with gas than induction. French style. <laughs> when you make eggs, everyone says like French because of the omelette. But uh, I don't do omelette. Most of the time I do scramble, it's easy, it's quick. You know, like my time is precious, so I'm trying to be quick and as much as I can, like functional, like don't lose time. Make it simple. Up. Then I'm gonna add some rosemary. In Turkish, we call it kekik, that give a bit of flavor. I'm gonna put some Himalayan salt. That's very Important too, we need minerals. So in the salt, there is a lot. Here we go. Up the time my pan's getting hit, I'm gonna press my oranges. Same, I keep it fresh. That's important. That's how you get the best of everything. Like if you're lazy and you buy those ready, ready juice, <laughs> well, it's full of sugar and full, like it's not natural, it's processed as well, it's processed sugar and they're gonna have conservator and like all those things that actually are unhealthy for you when you can just squeeze them very quickly and have a delicious juice, even the taste, let's be honest, the taste of a fresh orange juice, come on guys, don't tell me it's the same than when you buy those ready, ready things. Guys, did you ever saw an avocado that big? It's uh, the wife of my partner. She's a flight attendant for Turkish Airlines and went to Africa. So we call them Africado. <laughs> it's like a giant avocado. It's crazy. Let's see. It looks incredible. Are you ready, guys? Bang! Beautiful, isn't it? I love avocado. I'm freak for avocado. So that's my technique. I split them in two. With my finger, I put it here and I just roll out the skin. So you have it clean up, that's easy. But the thing with this avocado is like one for maybe, I don't know how many people you can use this avocado, but probably at least four to five people. And that's it, let's eat. All right, the breakfast is ready. And basically this is what I have every day. Five eggs, at least 200 gram of meat, some goat cheese, some beautiful avocado, olives and a fresh orange juice. That's it, simple. And when it's about food, that's a private time. That's something that I enjoy very much. So, see you later. This is private, it's for me. A <laughs> fetosu. <laughs> my boy this is one of the thing also guys that i like to do uh, when i finish everything in the morning you know it's like super active i like to have a little time for myself and recently i started guitar which i always wanted to play music it bring you know that creativity you're using your soul you need to feel it and it's something i think very important for me 
so that's why I'm say I keep saying that to people. Keep on trying different things. You're gonna find something obviously that you're good at, and even if you're not good at, it's not the point. The point is to enjoy the moment, enjoy whatever it needs to be, feel or whatever attract you. Just go for it. Don't be don't be afraid. So today was very nice. We saw basically how my morning routine goes. And uh, obviously you see I do a lot of little things and I want to encourage people to, you know, just do more. Every day it's a chance to do more, to create more. And that's why I took as a journey and as a goal to entertain my lifestyle and show to people that there is possibilities and everything is like perspective. The way you see life, the way you approach to things, it's all a mindset, like being happy, it's not obviously your possession, it's not the money you make, it's not how many women you're gonna have. These have no value. The only thing that we should cherish is our mindset, the way we feel, the way we interact with each other, uh, your kindness, those are value, those are your assets. That's what I wanna promote. So again, thank you guys so much for the vlog. I'm having so much fun, I let you in in my life and the support even on social media and all those things have been awesome for me. And I'm really willing to do more. I have so many more projects. I would love to take you with me in the nature or when I go snowboarding or kite surf, all those activities that I do around and explain you how I feel about those things. Everything brings me emotion. And I'm a person that I can say it's a, it's a blessing and it's a curse at the same time to feel everything like the way I do. I'm, I'm, I feel things very deeply. And as I say, it's a blessing, but at the same time a curse sometimes. But you need to learn how to live with yourself. And that's why every day it's a journey. Every day it's a new challenge and we're growing from that, you know? So yeah, don't forget guys to subscribe. It will be a blessing. And again, thank you so much for the support. I'm really enjoying this. And I want to end up this by telling you don't be afraid, you know, you have one life. You don't have time to waste, right? So if you wanna do something with your time, be productive, be creative, explore everything you want. There is no limits. The only limit is the one you put to yourself, right? So yeah, that's all what I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much and see you next time. Peace.